Thanks for that. Good advice. Well, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Chris, and I'm going to play the Talos Principle 2 demo. I didn't actually realise they were coming out with the demo until BAM, it was there. Um, so yeah, we're going to see what this is all about. Well, I can guess what it's about because I played through Talos Principle 1 and it was so good. And when they announced the sequel, I was well excited. Play! Let's see what's going on. This demo offers a specially curated glimpse into the Talos Principle 2 and does not completely reflect the full game. To preserve the narrative experience and prevent spoilers, some story elements and gameplay puzzles have been intentionally condensed. That makes sense. You would, you know, yeah, you need the prophet has no honor in his own country. John 4:44. Shivers watching this. It's just like the first. Mind you, the first game. <laughs> I wondered if it was going to be the same. Oh, we've got legs this time. I wonder if we'd wake up in the same place as the first game. That'd be a mind bender. Oh, it's so pretty. Behold, child. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your friend, and I am called Elohim. Very interesting. So that is the same first line you hear in the original game, but instead of friend he says maker, I am your maker or master, maker I think. So um, so I'm instinctively already looking for um, hidden things. This looks really nice doesn't it? So yeah, original game, um, very good, enjoyed that a lot, played the DLC as well, 100% it on both, so good. And have been waiting very patiently. In fact, I didn't know there was going to be a sequel until it was announced. I think earlier this year. So, if you haven't played that, um, that's fine because I'm sure that this game will be, yeah, will pretty much have similar mechanics to that game. So yeah, it's jammer, so you can disable various objects like that, so enable you to pass through this door. For example, but I can't pick it up, I can't take it with me because if I were to pick it up, it stops working. So, I'd have to put it there. I could get it through the other side of the door. If I could jam the door with another one, then I could bring it through. Box. Everything, it's the same theme. The original game had um, Egypt themes for some of the levels, and uh, this is obviously similar. Yes, it's got wires now. <laughs> that is a very important addition. The wires. So you can see what stuff. I mean, it's kind of obvious in that case. I don't know if there are any secrets in the in the demo level. Actually, it's creating. I bet they would. They're kind of famous for having hidden little secrets and Easter eggs and. This land is but a dream. You will stay here only for a little while. Soon, you will awaken in a new world. But first, you must undertake the trials of initiation. They will help me prepare your vessel. Vessel. Okay, we've got more of these. That's a Tetris style puzzle where you have to fit the bits together to open the door. And the sigils you collect by completing the puzzles. So, I'd, I'm glad they didn't change that. 
the formula worked. It's a bit odd having like this Tetris style thing. Okay, it's three doors, green, yellow and red. It talked about, it talked about a vessel. So, and being in a dream. So the original game ended when the, you um, complete your tasks and you pass the independence check and that enables you to be, I guess, the first robot or the first AI to be released into the real world. They were, they were testing for, um, oh, in a puzzle. What was it called? I was just chalking sh absolute shite. Within reach. Yeah, so the idea is you have to collect these shapes by solving the puzzle. So this one looks pretty simple, you just, you need to bring a box over. However, if you try to bring a box in through this thingy, yeah, the purple stuff bars objects from passing through. You may linger in my garden for as long as you wish, but remember, my child, that the new world awaits you, and this place is only a dream. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are symbols of the process by which our people were created. Sounds like collected it, signs off here. I wonder if that was <laughs> if that was Elohim's way of getting us to buy the real game. Guys, this is just a dream. Imagine what the real game is like. I mean the real world. Fencing. There's shapes up there. So yeah, that original one, that first puzzle was about showing you that you can stand on boxes to gain height. This is uh, similar. Mm. Gonna, I guess the only point of that is to bring it out. All right, yeah, so it, you can't, this is too tall to jump over if you're just standing on one box. But if you can jump on the second box, if you can jump on two, you can get over. But you can't jump from the ground to get onto two boxes. It's too tall, so you need a stepping Stepping stone, like so. And you can get it. Oh, very good. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Look at the sunbeam rendering. Oh, have I got third person? I have, yeah. Nice. Very pretty. So I'm, I'm the same. This is the same character, or the same model in the uh, first game. Cubic steps. Double up on the use of this one. Oh. Well done, oh, my nice. child. Thanks, Elohim. Oh, that's so portal, isn't it? They've like <laughs> sized it up. Okay, now that I have three green sigils, I should be able to get through the. Um, like uh, laser laser puzzles to me. Obviously they've made a return. Uh, I can't remember which is yellow. Why is they're not in order? Red. Use the arranger. So you have to kind of fit them in and when you do the lock opens. Alright we've got another four in this area, four yellows. Obviously I'll be playing the main game when it comes out. But, no. Cannot access them at the moment. Oh, a fan's made an appearance. Yeah, so a fan can blow things up in the air. Or in whatever direction the fan's facing, so physics works. Um, but I can't use it myself unless I can put a box on this. It's <laughs> weird having feet. But a fan can be used to weigh down buttons as well. So that's all good. I kind of I replayed through the original when um, when they announced when they announced this game. So uh, I'm not tall enough. 
I was about to say, so I'm probably still going to use. Um, about to blow my own horns in, I'm still going really quickly and now I'm stuck. Um, so it's not tall enough on its own. So I need to, I need to stand on a box. Okay, yeah, I get it, yeah, yeah. Turn the fan off. So that I can get on the box in the first place. There we go, now I'm able to fan. Through weirdly. I wonder if there'll be any stars in this. The stars we used in the original game has extra more advanced puzzles. But if you wanted the you know the full ending, or at least a different ending, you have to collect them all. No. What am I doing? Right, we've got a Z. Windy day. Fan that can't be detached. Ooh. So I'm gonna have to put the fan I just picked up on here to get up. And so I need to replace it with the box. Shuffling. That would have been. If I had to enable that one as well with another box, that would have been. after the famous double split experiment. Okay, so I can't... I can't get through there at the moment while the fan's active. Oh, there's a lot going on now. Block this. laser with something in order to get in the area. Um, okay. Nice. <laughs> and with that, should be fine. Cool. Yeah, they've obviously taken out all the story elements. This is like a, to whet your appetite of the kind of puzzles in the game if you're not familiar with it. Versatile contraption. That makes, that suggests that this will need to have multiple uses. Okay, well I don't need to jam that one, but I can jam that one and have it on the button. Showing you that it can use its weight and its, you know, function. I was trapped in here. You can't use it through the fence. I can do it over the top actually, but generally you can't interact with objects if on the other side of these bars. There you go. That's the only thing I can actually reach from there, so. Ah, looks, looks awesome. Cool. Good 
the air the door we go. I appreciate these <laughs> breadcrumbs of validation from Elohim. Yeah, I wonder what the main story will be about. And so, the, yeah, at the end of game one, you wake up in the real world for the, as the first AI. So, either I mean, the next, the ne this, you know, the full game might take place in the real world. That would be my guess. But then they have to explain why. I this. am proud of all my children. Out of a world of ruins, they have built a new Jerusalem. And there, your brothers and sisters await you to celebrate your birth. Ooh. So, Elohim has to make me a vessel, and then I can go, I can transfer into the real world in it. Brothers and sisters, eh? Maybe there's more of me. Fundamental connections. Yeah, about this is set sometime in the future, when there are now lots and lots of robots. So the, hu the human race is wiped out, unfortunately. Yeah, that was revealed in the first game. Take connect and keep connections. I'm glad they show you now that you can keep the connections. So you can pick this up and connect it to things, right? So you connect the laser to the receiver. Or well, if you right click, it will it will keep. You can see the little blue icons there. That means you don't need to reconnect them once you've picked up, but that can be really handy if you just want to move it over a little bit. Deselect all. Oh, that's good. Is that... No. Oh, if I hold down the right mouse button, it will... Ooh, funky. So I can lose the connections. Nice. Yeah, that's a good quality of life change. I mean, it was always there, but people sometimes didn't realise it was possible at the start. So I'm going to have to bring this laser around the corner, I think, to get this. Um, so you connect, you can connect connectors to each other. So that shows that will connect when there's a light and light to it. So you can form a kind of connected chain like this. Sweet. Oh, your hands when you jump your hands come up that's good oh yeah freestyle look at that <laughs> prismatic diffraction diffraction is splitting a light into many lights or something like a prism suggested by the word prismatic so this one I'm not going to be able to interact with Are they holding little weights? Holding little dumbbells? Oh no, it's little sacks of... Sack of money. Little Egyptian coins. Um, okay. Right, so the ultimate goal is to get blue onto... onto this. While keeping all these doors open, should be able to do that from here. So just add that in. And... Nice. So your connector can connect to many things, unlimited things, in fact. Destructive interference. Ah, uh, yeah. This will be the old don't cross the beams. So there's two. Wait. Yeah, okay. There is. <laughs> I didn't know if there was only one thingy. So, you, yeah, you can't. If the red and beams cross each other, they will s stop working. So if I, there's a connector in there, so let me try it. Right, the goal 
is just to open that door. Oops. Yeah, I see. So if you try to just connect this just with the two connectors, you'd end up going from here to here and crossing over the blue beam. Yeah, which makes them which interrupts both beams. So you've got to wrap around. Oops. I did not mean to put the blue one on it as well. Bam! Pretty little, little blue flower. That's, that's the uh, Latin name, I think, the bl pretty blue flower. I don't know my flowers. Didn't think I'd have to play in this game. Oh, this looks big. Two colours, two doors. Okay. That's the final goal. Get that open. In order to use this blue beam, I need to use the red beam to keep it, keep the door open. Ah, here we go. Oh, I get it. Yeah. So you can't just join the blue beams because it'll interrupt the red beam. But you can heighten the connector, and that will keep it out of the way. Yeah, this is feeling quite familiar at the moment from uh, my recent playthrough of the first game. But I'm sure, from what I've seen, they've released some trailer, some gameplay trailers, or a couple of them, and there are definitely some new, there are some new tools going on. I saw one which splits, splits the colour of the beam. Uh, there's another one which combines the colours of the beams, I think. And there's something that looks like a portal. That possibly makes a hole in the wall so a beam can pass through it. But yeah, I imagine it'll get pretty convoluted. Right. Not blown not that high, is it? Not exactly blown away by the strength of that. That's cool. What's the point of this? Oh right, uh, yeah, yeah. I see. To connect the beam so this is going to be too, you can't go through the door, but you can blow it over the door, you can blow it, so you can blow it up in the air like this, um, nice. Wow, that is just at the perfect height isn't it? Oop. Thank you, child. I have finished preparing your vessel. Now, hear my advice. A new world awaits you, full of dangers and mysteries, signs and wonders. Things that I, in my garden, could never have imagined. In that world, you will have to be careful and smart and curious. But above all else, you will have to be human. You have to be a human. Because we are the extension of the human race. We're the continuation, we're the best we could come up with. So we have to be them. In the real world. 
do not be afraid of these dream figures and their messages. They are merely aspects of yourself, as am I, after a fashion. What does that mean? As am I, after a fashion. Elohim's part of me, part of my head. I must forge the tools by which humanity will rebuild itself and transform the world into the Eden that it never was. The blacksmith. I must forge the tools by which humanity will be it. Will be it. <laughs> Can't talk. Rebuild itself. Yeah, so the um, yeah, original game had lots of QR messages like that on the wall. Left by other robots going through the trials. Through the puzzle process. Where the hell am I going? What am I doing? Oh my god. Yeah, so in that way you could... Well, not exactly talk back to them, but you could read the, the messages that they'd left. So that was awesome. And you could leave leave ones for yourself. Nice. It looked like I was knew I was doing that. Okay, is that the end of the demo, or is, are we going to get to see some of the real world? I hope so. Whatever happens, we're in it together. Yeah. See you there, Lilith. Step into the light, child, and awaken. to the world of the living. She talks. Oh my god. Am I playing Mass Effect? Hi, pleased to meet you. Oh, you're polite. What a rare combination of traits. If only the algorithm produced more people like you. Oh, but I'm confusing you. Don't worry. Everyone is confused at first. You see... We all start out without a full knowledge of our own history, so we have the freedom to form our own opinions. <laughs> you, you can't form opinions without your own experiences and memories. I could really use some pointers. Of course. You want the short version or the long version? I want to know. <laughs> Yes, I want excruciating amounts of detail. All right, you asked for it. A long time ago, our ancestors dominated this planet. We call ourselves human, like they did, but they were organic. They built an advanced technological civilization, but unfortunately their impact on the ecosphere caused changes in the climate and an extremely contagious virus was released from the permafrost. Topical. Didn't they have advanced medicine too? That's something our historians still debate. Why weren't they more prepared? Why did they invest so many resources into making war and so few into useful research? It's hard to understand. But no matter the reason, in the end, they simply ran out of time. They blew it. No, I mean, that's a very good question. Why do we keep having war? So where did we come from then? A team led by a scientist, Alexandra Drennan, began a project that was intended to create a new humanity. But knowing that there wasn't enough time, Drennan initiated a process, a series of iterations inside a simulation that would lead to the emergence of true artificial intelligence. That's why we remember Drennan as the progenitor. The simulation was controlled by Elohim, who wasn't really meant to be intelligent in the proper sense of the word, but it all took much longer than anyone had expected. And over the centuries, Elohim actually became sentient. Sentient and afraid. 
He didn't want the simulation to end, so he tried to cheat. I feel sorry for him, really. The whole simulation was built around learning to defy him. It must have been hard to be in that position. Interesting. I just thought he was there to be... to just test you, to pretend to be afraid. He's programmed to make you feel bad so that you do what he said. Or just to stay in the simulation and don't show signs of independence. He didn't seem that bad when he, <laughs> when he spoke to me in my dreams. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us. And it really changed him. It freed him, I think. You'll always hear him in sleep mode, taking care of you. That's what he is, after all. A caretaker. Sleep mode? Was that the pause screen? Was there anyone else in the simulation? Yes and no, I think lots of lots of other programs, but they were all happening simultaneously. But also iteratively. I don't know the answer. Yes. There was Milton, the intelligence in charge of the archive, a project initiated by Arkady Chernyshevsky, which was meant to collect all of humankind's knowledge. His story is a lot like Elohim's, but Milton became the ultimate cynic. They say he's part of us too, in some way. Hmm. You need a bit of both, I guess. You need some blind faith and you need some cynicism. Without one, if you have all, yeah, if you have too much of one, you won't get anywhere and you make no progress as a civilization. And the simulation created us. It did. Long after our ancestors died out, the first new human was born. We call her the founder. I hope it was a her. Although the name she took was Athena. She then woke up Cornelius and used Tathius. Together, Using the tools left behind by the progenitors team, they created ten more humans. These twelve who followed the founder are known as the first companions. Athena and the first companions then set out to rebuild the world, and they founded the city of New Jerusalem. But then one day, she suddenly disappeared. Many still await her return. Fairly obvious parallels with um, Jesus and the Twelve Disciples. I wonder if this would be a religious... It could be a comic... It could, be... <laughs> it could always be a sarcasm on religion. And how do I fit in? Before the Founder vanished, she set a goal for this city. We call it THE Goal. <laughs> Capital G and all. To make 1,000 new humans and so complete New Jerusalem. Well, that's the official story, the way the mayor tells it. The mayor? Hmm. Well, I don't think I'm number one, that's a bit egotistical. That I happen to do the 1,000. That might be because I'm in the game. Uh, what's the unofficial story? Some of the first companions, like Byron, don't believe that Athena really wanted us to stop growing. They think her ideas have been twisted and embellished. And what do you think? They may be right, but I didn't see Athena very much in the years before she left. Maybe actually leaving the simulation and seeing the destruction left behind by our ancestors changed her mind. Thank you, that's pretty exhaustive. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. Your birth is quite the event. Oh, in that case, it sounds like I am the 1,000th. I'm obviously special, a special case. I wonder, it says there's themes of overpopulation here, whether they should have stopped producing. Um, tell me about yourself. Yeah, we're going into this dialogue. Well, as you can tell by my number, I'm quite old. I wasn't one of the first companions, but I did know Athena personally. She and Cornelius taught me a lot. 
Although I suppose I've made a few improvements here and there since those days. We didn't have a lot to work with in the beginning. Yeah, I wondered how um, how long... Well, they're not alive, right? So we're not alive. So we could live forever. Or exist forever. Hold on, am I immortal? You won't age like our ancestors did. But of course, there is always some wear and tear. You should probably schedule a checkup every decade or so. Oh, and be a bit careful with water. <laughs> you won't die if it rains or anything, but we're running low on insulation material. I wouldn't go swimming if I were you. Because <laughs> you had to... In the simulation, you, you didn't die in water, but Elohim had to tell you that you are going out of bounds. And if you went too far, you just walk back to the beginning of the level. Because when the real, real world, we can't do that, so there needs to be an actual ba boundary to the level, which is going to be the water. Will there be more new humans after me? Well, if I'm number 1,000, maybe not. You've only just been born, and already you step right into a major controversy. The goal, as most people understand it, was fulfilled the moment you were born. Now, New Jerusalem is complete, and we can live in balance without damaging the world like our ancestors did. That's the orthodox view, I suppose. But there are many who disagree. You'll have to figure out where you stand for yourself. Mm -hmm. It's about self-control. Can this population of humans keep themselves low, low, sufficiently low not to uh, repeat the mistakes of their ancestors? What will you do now that your job is obsolete and rude? All right. I haven't really thought about it. This is all I've done for the last few centuries, and I like doing it. I guess for now I'll just take a break, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> so for the last few centuries, they've been ra they've been creating new humans, and now there's, there's a thousand. So that's a rate of what? That's about two a year, maybe three. It takes a long time. Ready to get going. Oh, one more thing. Like all citizens of New Jerusalem, you have access to the interface, which you can use to read the news, chat to your fellow citizens, and so on. It's a crucial tool, and modular too. You can easily add new functions. Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once. Spam. Cool. That'll be the new, um, like the consoles in the original game. Sounds like it will replace them. I did notice that the the blacksmith that we read the QR code, that's the same name as someone in the DLC, The Road to Gehenna. You rescue a, um, a program called the blacksmith. <laughs> is that an MRI machine? So this is where you're born. This is so cool. Check my PDA. Oh, that's like a proper game with like a journal and everything. Welcome to New Jerusalem social media. Please familiarise yourself with the following rules. Treat everyone with respect, regardless of their number. Don't take the founder's name in vain. Respect the principles of the goal. <laughs> the Our Frogs People discussion is now banned. Inactive thread threads will be archived. If you have any issues, please ping the moderators. Jeremy, Neve, Aranax. Neve is a very low number. She's one of the, um, uh, what are they called? Not the founders. The first... Uh, the first followers, whatever they were called. Completion day celebration. Oh, this is so cool. We could just, it's going to be like a forum to follow. Hermanubis452. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, your hard work and faith in the founder's vision has finally paid off. At long last, the goal established so long ago will finally be reached. The 1,000th member of our family will be born, and our beautiful city will finally be complete. Jeremy. As space at the dam is limited, tickets will be made available via a lottery system. The celebration will also be streamed. There's only 999 other people that can come and watch. Not that many. Log. Alright. No, that's good. You can read back through the... Um, what are they called? First Companions, that's it. Sweet. Oh, I'm loving this. What's that red? 
Oh, she's got like a no entry sign because I can't talk to her right now. So much for coming to ask you questions. Cool. Oh my god, we're inside the. Um... Oh yeah, of course, the dam. The original simulation, or yeah, it was built inside of. The power facility was inside an electro hydroelectric dam, which is how they kept it running. I guess that's where we are now. Look, it's 1K. 1K. Hey, 1K. Welcome to New Jerusalem. Shouldn't the mayor be starting his speech? No one else cares. This should be interesting. At least give him a chance. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, many years ago, when the founder stepped forth from the simulation, this was a land of ruins. Our ancestors, in their hubris, undermined the natural foundations on which their world had been built. Because of their arrogance, our species found itself on the brink of annihilation. The Founder aimed to set us on a new course. You never even met the Founder. Her vision was of a city, a new civilization that would know its limits. It would not repeat the mistakes of the past, nor impose its will on this Earth. To that end, she set the great goal we have been striving towards. One thousand new humans. And today we have... Oh dear, what's that? Corruption. People of New Jerusalem. I am Prometheus, and I will reveal that which was hidden. The flame has awoken and summons you. Who is brave enough to answer its call? We await you upon our island where... Curse you, Pandora. You will not chain me again. Okay. Prologue. Brave new world. Pandora! Oh my god, this is so cool. The scope of this is huge compared to the first game. Oh, this is so fucking awesome. I told you we should have investigated those energy readings. And I told him there's something up with those structures. The mayor's just being cautious. This isn't caution, it's stagnation. Exploration? Too dangerous. Expansion? Too dangerous. We barely even scavenge anymore. You call it stagnation, I call it balance. And I call you an idiot. <laughs> Here's a thought. Try to be a little more diplomatic when you talk to the mayor. You see what I'm working with here, 1K? I'm gonna need a fresh pair of eyes on this expedition. Someone who hasn't spent several centuries hearing about the goal and the founder and all that nonsense. If you're up for an adventure, I'm not taking sides. Meet us at the conference room. God, it really is Mass Effect. This is so beautiful. Byron's obviously one side of the argument. It says, screw caution, let's expand, just like our ancestors did. You could probably go a bit more than 1,000, to be honest. The world's a pretty big place. Cool, thanks for, thanks for the Half-Life trip. Attend the briefing. Be humble, recognize the limits. We are not above nature. 
really hope that they listen to their lesson. Be constant, remember the goal. Perfection is unchanging. What's broken now? The hell? No. I didn't know if it was when I moved it. Came back on. That red, I think that means I can't talk to them. So did I get a new, um... Byron, yeah, number seven. Byron's the, one of the first companions. Did she mention Byron? No. No, she named a couple. Cornelius Eustathius. Ascending the tower already. Wow. Could just in wonder of this. This is New Jerusalem. All right, huh? listen up. I know you're all having fun down there, but the grid is overloaded again, so maybe you could switch off your personal consoles or your lawn mowers or whatever the hell you've all decided to switch on all at once. <laughs> I might not be around to babysit you for a while, and you don't want stuff breaking while Pellegrino's in charge, do you? That's it. That's it. Don't worry, Wonka. I see you there in the elevator. I'll have you moving again in a jiffy. <laughs> Great way to start life in the city, huh? <laughs> what the hell is a jiffy? These <laughs> bloody language libraries. <laughs> I like that already the, uh, the world isn't perfect. I'm thinking that they've obviously designed they've designed their city to be beautiful with water and trees. But there's no reason that, you know, robot humans would appreciate water and trees the same way that the, the organic humans did, who relied on oxygen to live and evolved in an in a Evolved in an environment of trees and water. That's what I find it comforting. These guys evolved doing puzzles. <laughs> Surprise, they weren't just laser. Lasers and jammers and stuff everywhere. Be constant, remember the goal. Perfection is unchanging. Perfection is unchanging. I'm not sure what that means. Let's be the living quarters, I guess. Please join us at the table. There's like scuffs on the windows so or like stuff on it. Why'd they put this water around then? Massive pools of water and then say, oh don't go in them by the way, because we've run out of insulation material and you might die. And if you don't, you're immortal, so that's quite a lot to lose. Jeremy we saw you on the on the um, Form. I think it was in there. It was on the <coughs> transport thingy. I would like to preface this meeting by saying I told you something would happen sooner or later and you didn't listen to me. And here we are. If we could focus on the issue at hand. The issue at hand is not this one thing, but this entire attitude that's taken hold. The world doesn't cease to exist when you stick your head in the sand, Herman. Or under a dome, as it were. Let's not get sidetracked. We're here to solve this puzzle, not to discuss philosophy. <laughs> uh, I'll speak up tonight at this meeting of the council. Can anyone fill me in on what's going on? Of course. I'm sorry you've been dragged into this. I'm sure this sort of... Adventure is the last thing you were looking for on your first day. Actually, I think this is fascinating. Ha! See? A fresh mind is open to the possibilities. Yakut, I think it's time for the briefing. All right, here we go. Nice to meet you, by the way, 1K. We first became aware of the site-designated TTP-2 during a scouting expedition about six months ago. 
It's a large island with a remarkably varied geography, and it looks like there are several artificial structures of some kind. We recorded extremely unusual fluctuating energy readings from somewhere in the middle of the island, but couldn't really make sense of them. I wanted to go and have a closer look, but the decision was made that it was too far and not relevant to the goal. Now it looks like whatever's on that island has reached out to us instead in the form of that projection. We may not be interested in the island, but the island is definitely interested in us. This sounds like a, let's be really lame, a potential danger to the city. I agree. I was skeptical of Byron's insistence that we mount an expedition, but uh, I think we have to assess the danger. Then it's settled. The expedition is approved. Byron, you will be in charge. Al will be your second in command to ensure a balanced approach. You'll take Melville and Yakut as you requested, and if 1K wants to join you, that's fine by me. I want to join. So, <laughs> sorry, not interested. What happens if you do that? Okay. <laughs> I guess what did I expect? Maybe you not. Know, so it's a real shame one K didn't come along. <laughs> he would have loved this. <laughs> well, thanks for watching my playthrough of the Talos Principle demo. Wow. Pretty large. So there's gonna be some stuff on the world to. Uh, we have to figure out why it's there. Are you kidding? <laughs> Do I actually have to play through it again? Oh my god. This is fun. What are all these things? I'm glad that there's some kind of auto save has happened. I didn't even think about saving. What are these like symbols? Different things you collect. I, I'm interested to see. I'm interested to see what the justification Welcome for all the puzzles is. Do please join us at the table. Because it can't be about you know training an AI again. I would like to preface yeah, yeah. this meeting by saying I, and if the issue at Skip all. I'll do the other options. Keep listening. Al's right. Let's move past this for now and deal with this transmission. Yakut, please start the briefing. All right, here we go. Nice to meet you, by the way, 1K. We first oh, became yeah, yeah. aware of the... It's a large... And it looks like there are several artists... We recorded extremely... Un but... I wanted to go and have a closer... Well, it sounds like a mystery worth investigating. I don't share your enthusiasm for the unexpected, but Byron has been requesting an expedition for some time now, and at this point I'm forced to agree that it's necessary. Slightly different voice line then. Slightly I different agree. Dialogue. Then it's settled. The expedition is... Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Excellent. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Come meet us out on the landing pad when you're ready. Such an abrupt ending. Sweet. New PDA interface tab available. Wow, research. What WTF was that? This is about the Prometheus appearing. Seriously, what did the finder what did the founder what the founder was that thing in the sky? We all saw it, right? I didn't accidentally turn on sleep mode while Herman was talking, did I? I mean, it's always tempting. No, we all saw it. Can confirm. I believe it was a sign from the founder. What else could it be on this day of all days? Pretty incoherent for a sign. It didn't even finish whatever it was trying to say. But <laughs> that's true. It's like, oh, chains. What, does the founder have energy insufficiency problems too? The founder works in mysterious ways. Maybe it really was a sign. I can add my own message. Am I called 1K? Yeah, I am called 1K. Thank you, 1K. I'm glad you see it that way. 
we must remain open to the possibility of miracles. In what possible way could that garbled mess may have been a sign? Maybe it's something for us to decipher a riddle, a sign of life. A sign of life, not necessarily intentional, but a sign. Sounds reasonable enough to me. Something weird is going on for sure, but what? We'll have to see. Riddles and puzzles are the foundation of our journey. So it began, perhaps so it will continue. Might as well have more riddles. Melville test. This is a test please ignore. Just testing the system to see if it works properly this time so we don't have another incident like when Pellegrino uploaded his poetry to the public log. That's, I mean, that probably says something in Greek, right? Poem. Yeah, I mean, I can't read Greek, don't know what I'm trying. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try and decide for that later. Basic information from our first expedition. The island designated TTP2 was first noted during the return journey from a scouting expedition which was diverted from its intended path due to an unexpected weather front. Long range scans indicated the presence of large artificial structures and also returned highly unusual energy readings. The matter was not investigated further. In ancient times the northern part of the island was home to several large settlements but rising sea levels have obliterated these and flooded the northern lowlands. The south, in stark contrast, seems to be a harsh and lifeless desert. Our intended base camp is near the origin of the energy readings in the temperature centre of the island. So there are several large settlements here, but the rising sea levels have obliterated them. I guess human, old human settlements. TTP2. <laughs> the Talos Principle 2. Original Alcatraz Protocol Standard Expedition Procedures Chapter 5 of Whittington's Cat and Another Cat That Visited Strange Countries Part of the Archive, I guess As no work about cats could be complete without the story of Dick Whittington From These are the standard operating procedures for expeditions Just uploading them to remind Byron, who will probably ignore them anyway Attaching a picture from an ancient book to get, <laughs> to get his attention. <laughs> One, maintain the ideals of the founder and the goal. Two, prioritise the well-being of the expedition members over mission completion. They're better humans than, the hum than we are. Three, one expedition member to stay by the vehicle at all times. Four, expedition leader should refrain from participating in high-risk activities. Five, minimise vehicle use to conserve fuel. 6. Prioritise observation over interference. 7. In case of emergency, return to New Jerusalem at once. Oh, Byron's not going to listen, so... Cool. Accurate reflection. Except I'm not in it. Now, what do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Jeremy? Hello, 1K. This expedition is taking a lot of our resources. I'm really not sure it's a good idea. But what's done is done. So I have a lot of work to get on with. I just wanted to sit down, so I moved my standing desk down a bit. I also turned my volume on my mic up slightly, because I think that might be a bit quiet. Um, who are you? I'm the mayor's chief aide. Okay, thanks Jeremy. What do you make of recent events? Our goal as custodians of New Jerusalem is survival and stability. Our ancestors proved human civilization is precarious. This apparition in the sky, and now your expedition to its supposed source, these are more precarious than stable. I don't like it. Yeah, but you can't stay you can't stay where you are forever. That's precarious as well. 
What do you do around here, Mayor Aid? All the things no one else wants to do. Polling the citizenry, implementing new policies, recording decisions, fielding questions people could answer elsewhere. <laughs> what do you think of me? You represent the completion of the goal. I'm proud of what we've achieved, and the restraint we show in not pushing ourselves further. Yeah, you're on one side. You're on the stable side. And Byron's the uh, loose cannon. What do you want? Probably for me to stop asking you stupid questions. For our people to be happy with what we have. Some of us may have an adventurous spirit, but that can never be sated. What matters to me is having my loved ones around me, safe and secure. Thanks, I won't keep you any longer. Yeah, but is it safe and secure to stay where you are forever? Deplete the resources where you are and stagnate, just bleed out? Just bleed out, basically. It's good they put, they've got one of each, like they've got a character clearly on each side of the argument, just to hammer home the, the theme. So, what's the verdict? Are we going? Oh, I know you from the uh, public transmission. Yes, this is an opportunity we can't pass up. I guess Byron was pretty convincing, hmm? Well, we'll see. I just wonder how much of the city is going to fall apart while I'm gone. Actually, we haven't been formally introduced. I'm Melville, New Jerusalem's only decent engineer. <laughs> Saved you from the elevator. Yeah. Nice to meet you. People call me 1K. Pleasure. Now let's get this show on the road. You ready to go? Mm, no, I want to have another look around. I want to look at the helicopter. Can't crouch, there's no crouch button. What are these on? What's. I wonder if we'll ever be able to decipher the language. Oh, yeah, I mean, it might be just be Greek, right? All very futuristic. Okay. Let's go, Melville. Go. Yes. I wonder if I actually get to do some puzzles in the new area. Excited. So puzzles. Whoa. Oh, we didn't get to do the uh, the train the train ride. What the hell, where'd everyone go? I think this might be the case where they've condensed some of the story. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I expect in the full game there'll be a little bit more than just teleporting. Let's do some more puzzles then. Have a little look around first. The hell? What are they like? Propellers? What are those things? Look like they can spin. It's not like they lift the building off the ground, is it? Okay. Four puzzles to solve. Maybe, yeah, they probably skipped out all the uh, bits with the... with the... with the spirit. Prometheus. skip to the bit where he <laughs> he says can you solve some puzzles for me please okay, we found one found a puzzle there oh shit numbers two one two I need to solve two puzzles for this to open One of those ancient structures that we were told about. Oh, the hell. 
<laughs> I'm not sure that's meant to open like that. Bit of clipping issues. Okay, let's start with one. For no reason. Oh, that grid looks good. It's got the triangles. Didn't notice that before. Oh, it's like new school puzzles. RGB shifting. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. This is new. RGB converter. So, blue and red are going in, and green is coming out. That's not, that's not how colour works. They make purple, not green. So I guess if you put in two, you get one out. Okay, there's no sigil here. But I have to lay my hand upon the upon the upon the plate there. I see how this thing works. If I just can I just do blue? Can I do blue to blue? No, you can't. So it's not it cannot function as a connector. I guess you have to put two in. Okay, that gives you green. I'm guessing red and green give you blue. Yeah. So it gives you the one it gives you the one you don't have. Hey, it's a different model. Hey, it's a super polyhedron. A, j a joke from the first game. Right, and then that's fine. What oh, does it show you when you're holding it, it shows you so it's white, it's glowing white at the moment. Ah, and then now half of it's gone green. That's so cool, and then when you pick the other one it then goes red. Oh. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, what the hell? That was not a weird glowing thing. Okay. So we figured out how that works. Lay my hand upon you. Progress wheel. What the hell? Nice. Wait, where are you going? Cool, okay. So I unlock this and a piece of this thing. That's good, you can um, solve the puzzles. Well, I was going to say in any order. You can solve these two in any order, and I'm guessing you can do these nine in any order. Or eight? Does that top one count as a. Maybe it's only eight. Those eight in any order. Okay, what else have we got in here? Reconnection. I love how they. The, in the demo, they're introducing you to a new, um, a new implement. Oh, yeah, I'll have the chance to connect two converters together. So I need those to make that. Isn't it really easy? Why can't I just open that? What's this thing? That's the same symbol that's on the tower, I think. An upside down triangle in a circle. Mm, no, it isn't. Where have I seen it before? I've seen it somewhere. Okay. Okay, so it outputs. Yeah, you can you can take the colour that's outputting. Oh, that'll get messy, won't it? When you have several oh, I see how does this work then I was going to say it's really simple but actually I can't see the green one from okay so let's think about this to make red I need red and I need green and blue and I can only reach the blue which means I need the green from this 
and to make green, I need to, make, I need to put, I need to put blue and red into it. So this should do it. Nice. Oh man, that is gonna mess with my head. I'm trying to get the colour you actually want. Progress wheel. I guess this thing that comes up in the middle shows you what you're making progress towards. Oh, it says up there, E1, up the top left. Off he goes. And uh, that little bar, that little bar at the top's appeared. Hope my volume is okay. Okay, so I'm facing east. So the goal is east. Yeah. So, all right, the little gold thing on the bar at the top is obviously the this big gold ring. Oh yeah, that's why it's all the symbol. Three and four, three's flashing for some reason. Whoa. This land is massive. What is going on? Okay, I can't cross until I've... Yeah, well, obviously I need to complete all these to build the, build the blocks to get across. Three is that way. What's this way then? Massive swathes of land, unused. Unused in the demo, anyway. <laughs> oh, computer terminal! Yes, they're back. No, it's not. It's a. I don't need computer terminals because we've got the PDA palm reader. Oh no. Okay, it is. Kind of a terminal. L1C lift hurry lift razier from Lives of the First Companions by Randolph 777. Lift razier is perhaps the most mysterious of the first companions. A wanderer and mystic by nature, he would venture far from New Jerusalem on his own, recording his thoughts as he explored harsh and distant lands. These recordings garnered him a group of devoted followers to whom he tried to impart his wisdom, 5358. In the troubled time following the founder's disappearance, Lifthwazir and his disciples set out on a journey to reach the opposite end of the world by foot. They've not been heard from since. That's cause it's a pretty long way to get to the end of the world. Uh, new interface content available. There is a pleasure in arriving on this island. The pleasure of being the first to step foot here in hundreds of years. It is a genuine pleasure, and yet it is also banal. My presence here is of no more significance than that of every other animal. These rocks do not care who walks here, and the millennia between the presence of our ancestors and my brief journey are nothing. To them but even putting it this way is wrong it is not that the rocks do not care it is that in some sense they do not exist i may stand in awe of the cliffs on the southern coast but the cliffs cannot look back at me with contempt they cannot do anything at all yeah so does it mean anything or not to be there? New interface content. Jimmy Fex 312 postponed. I know you've all been looking forward to playing the winners of the biannual Gehenna Memorial Interactive Fiction Expedition Exhibition, now in its 312th edition at the Gehenna Memorial Pavilion. Unfortunately, due to our new power management and distribution plan, the pavilion will have to remain closed a little longer. Thank you for your patience. Gehenna is the name of the online world forum in the uh, the DLC in the original game. 
so that's obviously they've inherited they've inherited the name or this is the natural evolution of it and we're looking at Gehenna now this is disappointing would have been great to have them ready for completion day we all have to make sacrifices to stay true to the founders vision those text adventures are the only thing that breaks me out of the monotony why prioritize this pointless contraption day completion <laughs> completion day celebration over an exhibition that people actually care about art is one of the last things we actually still do is that going out the window as well now debate regarding our power management plan is definitely welcome and you will all be able to express yourselves in the next election but this thread was just meant an announcement I apologize for enabling replies to begin with Lithrazir so 1k found a recording of Lithrazir and what an odd recording too I know he's one of the first companions but I don't actually know that much about him don't think I've ever seen him around either can someone explain Lithrazir always had an unusual perspective even in the very beginning he travelled a lot, sometimes leaving for years. He built a kind of mobile recharging station so we didn't need to come back to the city as often. Although it was quite risky, as the solar panels had a tendency to break rather quickly. But he had no problem taking risks if he felt they were necessary. And exploration was necessary to him. Neve um, 11, so she is one of the first, one of the first um, companions as well. So probably knew him personally. Lithuzir would record his thoughts as he explored and then publish them when he returned. Over the centuries he accumulated a group of admirers, or disciples if you prefer. In the period of crisis surrounding Athena's disappearance, they left the city, headed into the unknown, and we haven't heard from them since. I've only just found it, this is a pretty quick response. How do, how do these people know I've even got it? Unless we're somehow sharing this, somehow sharing um, media. Is this recording the one I found? I found one of those he published back in the day. No, not as far as I can tell. Perhaps it's something he decided to shelve, or something he only shared with close friends like Athena. Thank you, that was informative. You are welcome. I still love that Athena is now the official name of the robot you play in the first game. And was a female, apparently. There is a pleasure in a, there is a pleasure in a ride on this island. Oh, so so I don't have to make it stop. Of being the first to step foot here in Can I make it stop? Of years. Yeah. <laughs> I right clicked on it. So he's, we can still find his recordings, he just never got around to, he never returned home to upload them. So I think they suggested I don't jump in the water. This is massive. The puzzles are the other way, what's all this land? All this land. Not available in demo. Well, that's intriguing. Note to self, remember to come back here when the game's out. There's a puzzle in there. There's a laser in there. Jeez, what is all this? This is just endless woodland. It's not endless, I, I realise there's a huge wall there. Huh. So very, very much an end. Can I jump into here?
through that way. Oh, right. Three down there. Okay. Massively spread out, aren't they? That was one of the great things of the original game was uh, finding your way around. Not available in demo number six. But it's there. <laughs> I didn't want to solve it. To see the bits. Wow. Bit of dodginess there. Okay, is it puzzle time? I think it's puzzle time. Was this was this the way to the puzzle? I think it was. I think three pointed me this way. In there. Okay, that's fine. That's shallow water. We're okay. This is... Did I say how big this place was? Still can't even find the puzzle. I'm trying to find <laughs> I'm trying to find the puzzles through there must be Okay, puzzle. No. Alright. <laughs> I'll just run around the whole place. Which is fine. It's important to explore, you know? Be a Byron. Yeah, be more Byron. What the hell's that noise? from above. The hell is that? Made a weird noise. Don't like it. Maybe I get it from above, yeah. Okay, into the mossy lands of puzzle three. Castling. It took me a long time to get here game, so you better you better be worth it. There's the end. There's the thing. Uh, okay. So this this can only do one thing. This also does that. I now need red. So I need green and blue. Ah, but it'll, I can't. I can't use the green. I can't do that. I'll break the beams. So I need to get green and blue somehow. Perhaps this doesn't need to. Probably need to swap these around. So 
so I didn't didn't need to do that, did I? Oh, how do I make sure that's not in the way? I oh, know this is okay, isn't it? That makes blue. And I can now use this one to make the red. Okay. That is what are you supposed to? Look at just random colours coming out of everything. Blop. Oh, it disappeared. Right, where's... Can I jump onto... Here it is. I think you just picked up some kind of decryption key. Could try using it on those terminals inside the puzzles. Terminals inside the puzzles? Were there any? Oh, there was an orange. There was an orange hand. It's on the inside. I meant to go look at that, actually. Oh. Okay, it's gone blue now. This fire has already been freed. Seek the light elsewhere. Maybe that's, is that a hint? Maybe that's a hint system. Try using it on the terminals inside the puzzles. This? Why is this thing shaped for us? The hand isn't exactly in our in our image. Prometheus seems to be leading us on this journey. Terminal. Yeah, I guess the ones you haven't completed yet are still lit up in blue, right? On the so four is still lit up because I haven't done it yet. Founding one from Hypatia's journal number one, author Hypatia. The founding of New Jerusalem, day one. We finally set out from the dam today. The site that Athena and Cornelius picked for the city isn't far, but the vegetation makes the going difficult. We found the secondary supply site easily enough, thanks to Alexandra Drennan's instructions. But while I still have to compile a detailed inventory, it seems that many of the more complex materials are in bad shape. They must have expected the simulation to fulfil its purpose a lot sooner. But then they probably expected all 12 of us to be there from day one, not just Athena. 12 of us? I thought they were only ever going to release one. Oh, there were messengers. There were tw yeah, there were twelve messengers. I think when you in the final ending, when you go, when you like, lay lay down on the rock, and look at the look at the tablets. If you haven't done that, you don't know what I'm talking about. So, and it's just ramblings. Tonight we have to use the two recharging pods that we brought from the dam in four-hour shifts, which is just as well. There's no telling what sort of critters are hiding in the undergrowth, and most of them will have to learn that our kind isn't edible. That's true. You're not going to be predated upon. baby steps. From the introduction to Are We There Yet, Where We Came From, Where We're Going, and Why You'll Need Snacks by Valerie Cantera Romero, Romero, Romero. Sometimes people point at the last few hundred or thousand years of human history and say, look how ugly it all is. Look at what a mess we've made. Maybe modernity was a bad idea. Maybe we should stick to living like cavemen. And I get it. It is ugly and messy. But the mistake is thinking that where we are right now is the end point that this is the adulthood of the human species. I mean, try to apply what you know about human development to human history. Think about babies. Babies, uh, be, babies are ugly. Admit it, we all know it. They look like tiny old people covered in mucus. And they have soft heads. And they grow into children. Tiny sociopaths with underdeveloped brains. And then they become teenagers. Pimply, self-righteous lunatics driven by hormones. And then slowly, if you're lucky, they gradually become adults. The development is a human, of the human individual is always ugly and messy, but that's the point. It's development towards something. The same applies to humanity as a whole. 
on a geological scale we've barely just come into existence. We've gotten through the baby phase, just about survived our childhood, but we're barely teenagers. Stopping here would be disastrous and a betrayal of everything that we could still become. We may feel the weight of history on our shoulders, but this is just the prologue. This is just the demo. To put it in pop culture terms, we haven't even made it out of the tutorial yet. Just because it's all pimples and hormones and frustration right now, doesn't mean it's never going to change. This is weird because uh, my wife is eight months pregnant, so we're going to have a baby pretty soon. <laughs> And, uh, we're, well, sorry, I'm not going to have a baby, we're going to have a tiny old person covered in mucus with a soft head. So, a good reminder that it gets even worse when they turn into children and then teenagers. But I'll be fine, maybe they'll like video games. Yeah, so we're uh, yeah, working towards something. Dead City. Author Elwyn. Location Valor X2. I must be where I am now, Balaxed. From Considerations of Beginnings and Endings by Elwin258. I think all that time Athena spent in the dead city changed her. I don't think she had conceived of the goal before. I think she believed fully in the naively optimistic ideas of Alexandra Drennan. But walking through those ruins is a visceral experience, and she spent a great deal of time there looking for resources. It's the sheer amount of death that gets to me. How many animals our ancestors killed? many to the point of extinction. Entire species eradicated, sometimes for the most superficial reasons. Whenever humans arrived somewhere, death would follow. And then the great blowback, the deaths of billions of thinking beings, the extinction of humanity itself. It's too horrific to truly imagine, but I suspect the founder spent a great deal of time doing just that. That's when she must have realised that there was no way back to the growth-obsessed, all-consuming civilization of the past. There's the great irony of humanity is that they led to their own extinction. But could be the case of any um, advanced civilization. This is the uh, this is the Fermi paradox. Why don't we see any advanced civilizations in space? And the answer could be. Once they get advanced enough, they wipe themselves out. Unless they can learn the lessons from previous civilizations, which maybe is what these guys are doing. Alternative option. Oh, we've, got a, we've got a fan. I'm guessing. So we can't get. This is new. It's a window, right? So. Oh. Okay, I can't do it through the window. I thought because it's a laser, it could go through there. Um, well, in that case, hang on, I can't even select them through the window. I need to. I need to. So it's pretty obvious, right? Because red and green, red, uh, red and blue making green. But to select them, there we go. Okay. Huh. All right. Now uh, that needs to go up in the air. In order to reach them. So, ah, this is an example where you need to use the right mouse button. Because if I were to pick that up, it would lose the connections and I had no way to put them back. Okay, so. GG. Good game demo. Nice. Another option it was called. Ah! Use the right mouse button, not the left mouse button. That's your other option. Well, must be that's all the puzzles. Go ahead and try the capsule, one K. The capsule. So I haven't used that decryption key. I don't think. Um, is the objective up on the mark? Up on the. Oh no, it's back that way. Okay. What's this blue hand thing though? It's a question mark. Ooh, right, it's this. Okay. It's cool. It's not new, but it's I just noticed it has a it appears on the um what do I call it, a compass at the top. 
Yeah, well, we're not going to be able to access the um, tower, are we? In the demo. That's fine. My Consider my curiosity peaked. Wetted. Huh, I mean, it doesn't even... Does it put down the Tetris? <laughs> That's one of the sigils, isn't it? That's a T-shaped. Fitting, keeping with the theme. Yeah, there's it's putting T shapes down. Well, not this one. This one isn't. Oh, it's made of it's made of sigils all round the side. Neat. Okay. What the hell? Life. Oh. Yeah, well, we're in the real world. That, I mean, that is the biggest difference. We're in the real world. And now the puzzles are real. <laughs> the puzzles are actually built into real life. For not entirely clear reasons right now. Let's go back. So cool, like a proper map. Oh, right, here we go. Gr Grasslands Ring, that's where I was. An artificial ring like structure on the wide lowlands east of our base camp. Main puzzles four of eight, lost puzzles two, one gold puzzle, one lost lab, and two stars. The stars are in. What is all this? So, the difference between a, a star or gold puzzle or lost puzzle. Lost ones you probably have to just wander around and find. Gold ones. Don't know, but looks like those look like the pearly gates, so they have something to do with developing yourself. Maybe <laughs> lost lab, I might have stumbled across one of them. And stars will be extra, like outside of the main puzzles. Puzzles that's so cool. I wonder if these are in, like, I could have possibly gone to find those if I wandered around for longer, but I don't even know if they're in the game. Oh wow, I can travel here. Cool. Uh, I'm going to the mega structure. Well, I can't go there yet. Oh, so, okay, so puzzles 1 to 4 up there, and then puzzles 5 to 8 are down here. Research, there's a new research. Prometheus Spark. Prometheus seems to want to help us succeed one way or another. Yeah? The mythical Prometheus was a trickster, and it seems his holographic equivalent has similar tendencies. These sparks seem designed to allow us to skip puzzles, a function which appears to run counter to whatever intent there was behind this place. Still, the terminals for using them are right there in the puzzles, so Prometheus must have some legitimate authority in all this. Sparks can be recovered by properly solving the puzzles. Ah, I like that. So if you get stuck, you can use a spark to skip a puzzle and progress. But then if you have an epiphany, you can go back and get your spark back if you, if you manage to solve the puzzle properly. Very interesting. Oh, I love this map thing. It just fills me with desire to explore. Let's go to South 1. What was that place called? East 1 and now to South 1. Oh, this is so cool. I hope, we, I hope that's not the end of the demo. God. So puzzles, yeah, more puzzles. Wow. What the hell? All the puzzles are that way. Oh man. Oh, 
this is so cool. Terminal down, down there. Is this one of the lost labs? This thing? Maybe. And wasn't there this as well? Check out this thing. Ah, oh, so pretty. Can I go in this? Seems to be fine. Okay. It's a green receiver. That needs some green light. Whoa. It looks so good. Oh no! It's gone in the water. Don't do. Don't go in the water. <laughs> We're low on insulation material. That's really cool. Okay, I'm gonna have a quick break uh, before moving on to these puzzles. I'll see you in a moment.